on a study to develop the use of wireless sensing networks um, for use in rice production and some other crops. Um, the use of wireless sensing networks potentially have a really big, great benefit to crop production. Um, we'd like to be able to continuously monitor field conditions such as temperature or soil water or soil moisture. Um, and the, the using sensors allows us to do that. We can put them in the field and, and collect the data from them. But we can't do that using uh, the, the, old, the more typical wired sensing network because the, the cost of running the cables out to the field would be too expensive. Oh, behind me here we have one of the moisture sensors and uh, it, is <coughs> it measures relative um, volumetric moisture content. Um, the portion that you're seeing on the, uh, on the PVC pipe is actually the solar portion that consists of a battery which, which um, sends electricity to the, the moisture sensors. Now it also has a receiver that remotely sends a signal to what is called a repeater. So this is a repeater that takes a signal from the moisture sensors in the field. On top this is the long range antenna and the signal from the moisture sensors comes to this antenna which sends all the information here. This information then goes up to the long range antenna, this long range antenna that sends the signal to the receiver in the lab and from that from there we get the information into uh, into the computer so we can monitor exactly what's happening. So this is like a central point of the system. This is our Hobonode viewer utility software that works with a wireless soil moisture sensing system that logs all the information that comes from the moisture sensors in the field and it also gives you or uh, helps you to monitor all the equipment. The wireless sensing networks are becoming uh, commercially available so our interest is to, to test them and to just monitor our ability to keep track of the soil moisture, for example, and eventually to use it to make decisions for crop management.